welcome everybody. We are here at the club in Green Valley. And as you can see, we have got a good crowd today. Uh, we've got some videos to share and we also have an announcement that Patty wants to make. So Patty, why don't you come up? I will come up here. And then look at the camera and you'll be fine. That You don't have to bend down, that's funny. <laughs> You're right, because that, that would be, you'd have to come pick me up. <laughs> All right, um, for those that don't know, I'm Patty Ferguson and I'm on the board. I received a phone call two days ago from a, a organization called Equine Voices. I don't know how many of you are familiar. Some of you have done field trips there and they do an annual fundraiser where they receive um, art from local artists. Uh, November the 5th is their big day. And what they normally do before they start auctioning off stuff is they show a short video um, on, on the facility itself. It's four to five minute video. So she called and wanted to know if that was something that I would be able to do. And I'm like, <laughs> I personally know, but boy, do I know the group that maybe <laughs> could possibly be interested in doing something like that. Uh, the actual Equine Voices facility is 10 minutes from here, maybe yeah. by uh, make, it, make it 15. 15. <laughs> if you're doing the speed limit, 15. Um, and uh, they usually have a theme. One year they did, they they focused on the old horses. They got a bunch of donkeys. They focused on the donkeys. Day of the Dead, they kind of did a <laughs> Day of the Dead theme. So uh, if it's something that you all could do, would do, would be interested in doing, I would be more than happy to be the facilitator meet with them, find out what it is that they want to do, how they want to do it, and then walk away. I think it'd be a great project for the group that anybody is interested. I'd be happy to volunteer and maybe what we can do is uh, chat about it at some point and see Correct. after we decide what we're going to do and then say, okay, let's go out to the facility, let's go out and shoot. And then we can come back and then at some point we can come in here and edit mm -hmm. so that people can see what's going on right up on the big screen TV and go through the process. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's something that Correct. we can definitely do as a group and, and whoever wants to join in, we can send out some sort of a, uh, an email about it mm -hmm. with some more information and go Super. from there. Super. Once I knew that, that yes, I could, I, I would have a group that I could sick on them. Right. <laughs> then I, I will contact the, the woman this afternoon okay. and say, okay, what exactly is it that you want? Sure. Um, you know, I, I, my God, we're doing drones, right? Right. Oh, that would be so sweet to, to do a... We can do it all. I, I put a <laughs> GoPro on the donkey. Sure. <laughs> well, and that's the best part is that if we have a yeah. bunch of people that want to get involved, Everybody can shoot stuff and we can put that all Correct. together and marry it together and make a project that Correct. we all are Excellent. proud of. And Excellent. it also helps them. Yes. Okay. Excellent. I love Yay. it. Okay. Thank you very much. No worries. <laughs> and, and Patty, Patty, get her specifics <laughs> as to and what she really wants. Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. Correct. You can even yeah. open that to the club that people might be interested as sure. a group just to go out. We do. We've want. done, we've gone three or four times as a field trip yeah. and whatever money we collect, we always donate to them. Nice. But um, that is one of the annual field trips we now do is at Equine Voices. Okay. It's a great place. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a good project. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Thank you, Grace, Holly. Good to see you both. Thank you, All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Kevin, what is that group? I missed. I missed the very beginning. It's the equine. What's it oh, called? Equine voices, yeah. Okay. Equine voices. You know what that is, Holly? Oh yeah. Actually, Grace and I made a video for them a number of years ago. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. We've been out there. Well, we'll definitely uh I think do it as a project for the group. And I like I said, whoever wants to get involved would be great. And it's a chance to put something together and help a good cause. So we'll see what we can do with that and away we go. All right, That's well, good. let's get started with some videos. We've got some videos here to share. And then I know Grace has got uh, one or two videos she can share. Mm -hmm. So let's start, Ron, why don't you start with your video first and we'll get that going. Okay, it's a three minute video called Storm. 
And if you remember last year, July 7th, uh, we had a, a hellacious monsoon. I mean, it just rained and blew and rained and blew for two hours. Okay. So I had my iPad, iPhone 11, I put it on a tripod and stuck it out on our patio. And uh, so I just picked up some of the footage that it recorded and put this together. Okay, great. All right, let's see what we got here. There was one frame in there that if you took that still frame out, you'd think it's daylight. <laughs> yeah. The way it illuminated, not, not the sky, but it, it was almost, because it's an arc light. It's, right. you know, it's yeah. it's lightning. And that was, that was really a neat frame. The only other thing I would say was, <laughs> you're a lot older than I thought you were. <laughs> because you <laughs> shot this in 1921, wasn't it? Yeah, 1921. 2020. Oh, 2020. Because <laughs> that's what your super said in the beginning. Oh. It shot in 1921. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say that's a hell of a technology for 1921. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing that was that was nice too was the tranquility of the music oh. and the sound of the rain was great. And as Phil was saying too about the when the autofocus of the of the iPad bounces in and out, yeah. that's the well, aggravation. It was, it was a combination of things. Yeah. It was just the electronics. I mean, it wasn't just the autofocus if you looked at it. It's the exposure, yeah, auto exposure. I the autofocus was 
the wind was so hot, we had to grab the backup just to make sure that it was. Oh, uh, yeah. And then you went to go out. Well, for 1921. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's easy to do. Right, and and you know if next time you're shooting something like this, you can lock in the exposure and uh, uh, focus so that it won't vary. Oh, really? Is there a, there is a setting in the all you, on the iPhone? All you have to do is touch where you want it focused and press and hold down until it'll say A F A E lock. And yeah. it locks in the autofocus and the exposure for the duration until you touch the screen again. Oh, wow. That's good to know. That's real good to know. Yeah. I didn't think that was possible. Yep. Yep. And you can, uh, you can adjust the, um, uh, when you touch the screen again, it goes away. So, um, but once you do set that, you can change uh, by sliding on the screen the exposure. Oh. Yeah, I had to move to Try it out sometime. <laughs> I, said, I was getting too much rain. Sure. And I had to come a little further back in another angle. So were you on your patio? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Probably You're under cover, but it was. Yeah, but it was. I we were going to swim. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. That yeah. Is really yeah. yeah, we got over. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. wasn't until the last shots where you actually moved it a bit where you had the arc light and the house lights that you could actually see the rain. Um, you could oh, hear it, but you couldn't that, see it. Uh, yeah. Whatever that yard, yeah, yeah. yard light or something. Yeah. You yeah. Could really yeah. see yeah. it. Yeah. Parking lot. Light. Yes, yeah. Light. yeah. All right. Well done. It, it, it'll be interesting next time to try that Grace's suggestion of yeah. tapping and locking that focus in. I'm going to have to try that. I never knew that you could do that. I just figured oh, it Oh, okay. <laughs> well, see, that's why, day. I was going to say, that's why we probably need to attend your iPhone classes so we can learn <laughs> a little bit more. Just don't touch anything after you set it. Yeah. yeah. Is that all yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you for that. Well, Phil, you've got a quick one you'd like to share. Yeah, this is like uh, a minute and a half, and it's really stupid. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> should be entertaining. The, the, uh, it was a long, I was working on a project, and it was a long night, and I was out of my mind, and I had, <laughs> I have, Grace may know this place. I have been past this place in California a state park called the Crags. Okay. I've been by I've been past that on I-10 50 times. Okay. But I never stopped. Sure. And so we were always joking, oh the crags, you know. So we didn't know what it was. So this the, two weeks ago or whatever, I we drove up there and then we I got a GoPro out and I shot the stuff. But uh, then I was again rummy from like six hours of editing on another project and i thought ah oh, this will be a diversion in, in after it was a work in after effects so i put the crags in after effects yeah. okay <laughs> right, well, let's see what you got it's, it's stupid good we like stupid it's stupid the crags
I told you it was stupid. Nice. <laughs> hey, you and Arlene should get together. I think I think you have something in common there. Well, at the end, when you went sideways, that's kind of how mine usually go. <laughs> I don't think it was great. But it, was it was great. It's it's entertaining it's as hell. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It doesn't. We're not expecting uh, an Oscar-winning uh, performance here. It's just it's a fun little video. Oh, you're not. Well, then <laughs> if, you, if that's the case, you suck. The one thing, yeah. You know, <laughs> the one thing that is interesting in that is I had been doing a bunch of image stabilization. Okay. And that was shot with a handheld GoPro with a handle on it, just you know, uh -huh. and I put it in After Effects stabilization which i use a lot and it was like you were floating mm -hmm. it was like i had been using my so the yeah. all software did part of it then who did it all okay. yeah because i mean it's yeah pretty shaky <laughs> hiking that you had to hike a it might be a mile i don't yeah know, but and also it shows looks like you're climbing it says you're climbing that's actually going down because okay. i forgot yeah. to shoot it going <laughs> anyway, there it is. I'm trying to turn around and come back. That's right. Yeah. Well, you know, the one thing that I think that's fun about something like that, I remember when I first was trying to learn Photoshop and I didn't have any training. And I went through the program and went through every filter and every goodie just to see what did it do. And we think about our editing programs where we've got some of these goodies that these special effects and other goodies and you think okay learn about it try it and that's what i think is that was nice about that you had fun with it but also just you kind of ran through all the different goodies and yeah, maybe they, something something down the road you might say you know what i remember when i did that craig's video and there was the part with the snow well i'm going to add that to this well, you snow man <laughs> phil which which <laughs> Uh, Premiere Pro. Okay. Nice. Well, there you go. Well, that was stupid, you thought, but I think it was good. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, Grace, I know you've got a couple videos to share. If you would like to talk about yours and then uh, share, share yours, that would be wonderful. The building that I live in here at Mary's Woods um, has uh, some social events. And one of them a week or so ago was a sing-along that we had out on the porch. And uh, we have two ukulele players who live in our building and they uh, had printed out words to a bunch of songs. And we enjoyed singing along to their accompaniment for about a half an hour or so. I was uh, shooting that video uh, with my iPhone, I was using a gimbal, and I um, uh, was shooting it at 4K. And then I edited it in uh, iMovie, because that's basically what I have. And, and I'm not going to go back and edit this again in uh, Final Cut, because those songs <laughs> are still <laughs> earworms, I think they call them. They just keep running around in my head. Uh, but I cut it down to three minutes, under three minutes. Um, and uh, with Kevin's repeated uh, suggestions, I kept tweaking it more. Um, and so uh, that's, uh, you'll see the final one, I think. All right, let's take a look and see what Grace has got. For
And nobody could carry a tune. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's obvious. <laughs> yeah, the microphone recording next. The, the sound didn't seem to change at all wherever you're moving. Did you have something directly in with them? Nope, it was just my iPhone and on the gimbal. Wow. One of the things that Grace and I talked about for next time to do something like this take her older iPhone and just set it up there. So just so she records everything, you know, the one thing that we talked about, she's cutting in some, some B-roll of people singing, but they're not singing the actual song. And she tried to hide it, which was good by showing people from the back. So you don't have, you know, they're singing something else and the audio is some a different song. But anyway, I think that would be a good way to be able to, record just on one phone and then shoot with the other phone and away you go would be a nice uh, thing but other than that it, it came along nicely from where she started i mean it started it was great but just some minor things yeah. well the first version i had was seven minutes that had to go <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I cut out. i mean they sang all the verses of all the songs and i didn't put in all the songs even um but uh, that uh, movement was good, smooth, and you did some nice close-ups. But if you, I don't know what your intention is to use this, but it'd be nice if you had a close-up of everybody, each person there, which I think you probably missed some. I I think I missed one end um, of it. Um, yeah, I would work on doing that. Yeah. Nice. Well, you know what the beauty of it is? It's like you do something and you learn from it and say, okay, next time I want to do this and come with some different shots or different B-roll or, or how you approach the project. And you always want to be improving and getting better with, with everything. And I think you're doing that. Well, and so, so I am using the iPhone 13 Pro and um, I have three lenses, three cameras. Um, and so I did switch cameras uh, several times and Kevin pointed out that was a little jerky. Actually, it was probably jerky because I had to reach up and actually touch the screen to change cameras. I can't do it on the gimbal. Um, and so uh, we put a, a bit of a cutaway to smooth over when I changed from a wider angle to a close-up angle. Um, and uh, so- When you say cameras, you mean sensors on one camera. Yeah. No, 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 it's no, the- No, no, I, the iPhone has three cameras. I understand, yeah, those are three phone sensors phone. on the same camera. You weren't it's on the same phone. There's 0.5 lengths, lengths, three lengths. Right. right. Well, the, the one thing that that when when Grace first showed me the video that that bothered me was not so much that there was jerkiness if she would, but it was just that that quick snap zoom when the, when the phone goes from let's say like the wide to the normal, and I said put just put some B roll over the top of that so that transition is hidden, and then I said you're all good, so it just I'd have to show it I don't have it but I'd have to go back and try to find it. But it, it just, it, it wasn't like a quick cut, you know, where you go from one frame where it's wide to now a normal shot. This, you would actually see the physical zooming of the camera back. And it was, it, to me, it was just very jarring. So that was something that she put some B-roll over the top on those transitions. And I thought it made a nice, little smoother feel to the video. And the other, yeah, I because I had shown you, I sent you a small clip of a wedding um, dance. Yes. Um, and I had, because I was stuck where I was, and I and I used all three cameras for wide, ultra wide, wide and, and telephoto, uh, because that was all I could do. And I um, didn't have any B-roll I could cut over that. But I'm going to have another wedding. Uh, we'll have to see what I can get to shoot some B-roll to cut over 
uh, those kinds of um, changing of zooming in or, or whatever. Sure. Great, Grace, what you have to do to change what you call cameras, which I call sensors, mm -hmm. is touch okay. the screen. Is that it? Yes, yeah. I have to touch the screen because it, it has. Uh, and that kind of moves things. And, it, yeah. it, I probably jerk the camera a little bit too, adding to what uh, uh, Kevin says is uh, just a, a clear, you know, it's a sharp cut um, to the right. Is angle. there. Is there Ken Burns on uh, Final Cut Pro? Oh yeah, yes, of course. There is. Can, can you use that to smooth the transition? No. Not no. in the middle of a video. What I would have to do, I can show at some point, show it, I'll do it on a phone and just have a little piece of video, I'll send it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. It just, it's, it's really, it's, it's very jarring as a look. And I'd rather just see it be a quick cut, but because she had music where they're singing, you can't have even a couple of frames knocked out. That's, the music isn't going to sound good since she was recording on one device. Right. And I'm still confused about the iPhone. Uh, are you actually potentially making three different recordings with the three different sensors? Simultaneously, or does it all feed into it's one into one, one, one recording? Oh, yes. Okay. It's in, it feeds into one. Now, uh, now, I do have, <laughs> I do have an app called, um, which is uh, which you might want to consider. It's called Double Take, and um, with that, I can shoot with any two. Of the sen of the cameras or sensors, see that would be the at way. the same time and separate them and save them discreetly as files. See that that's the way to yeah. go. Yeah, absolutely. So, so um, yeah, I mean, I I really can't show you that much, but but there are I can't there are four. I can choose. Sure. I can choose any two of the four cameras. There are four cameras on here, three on the back and the selfie camera. And so you can choose any two of those to shoot and, um, yes. and saves them discreetly as separate files. I should do that, huh, Kevin? Yes, that would Absolutely. be great. That would be the way to do it. That would be the way to do it. Mm -hmm. But also, the, diff the, diff the difficulty is keeping them lined up. That's good. Practice at dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, <laughs> Helen and I practiced on that one a, a bit. Um, but um, yeah, there's an ultra wide, wide, and telephoto, and then the selfie. Sure. Well, there you go. And that's uh, that is a um, feature of Filmic Pro. And Phil, I don't know if you've heard of that one. Filmic Pro is the what the Hollywood people are using, they say, uh, and they bought out Double Take. Hmm. So if you're shooting with Filmic Pro and you decide what you choose what camera you want, you can go to Double Take. Hmm. And it was was that it? I don't think it was very expensive, but it was not cheap. Let's hmm. put it that way. Yeah. Well, anyway. Well worth it for those that are shooting with, just with an iPhone. That would be a nice little uh, add-on, so to speak. So yeah, yeah, I, I hadn't even thought of I thought of doing that, uh, but I think that would work better than I can than I can pick from one or the other. Sure. I also, Grace, I, when I downloaded that stuff for you, I have that uh, Tom the Bowl thing. Do you want me to show that? Um, uh, yeah, we probably have time. And then, time. then I did I did that T-shirt one. Um, the, on, you have a T-shirt on your? Oh, you can't share. Yeah, I, evidently I can't. Um, okay. We'll have and, to save that. Yeah, we'll just save that. Um, and... Um, but my point of doing that was to show that, yes, indeed, iMovie, uh, the best quality you can get for your um, video is what you drop onto the timeline first. 
And right. so I had dropped a, I had dropped a, hor a vertical t-shirt picture on the timeline first. And it was a still picture. And my whole project was vertical then because that was what I put on first. If you put on a 1080, that's what your project is going to be. If you put on a 4K, that's what your whole project will be. And I noticed that Final Cut does the same thing, although you can, after the fact, change it. But I can't change it. So that was that was just the reason for the t-shirt one. Uh, the, Grace, yeah. what if you put, like you start out, you put a 4K on first, yeah. you build your movie, and then later you, you put a t-shirt photo to yeah. start. It, the project is set with the first image or clip that you put on. So and it will still stay 4K. It stays. It stays Good. 4K. Yeah. All right. Right. And I can't um, I can't adjust it or crop it, I don't think, uh, in iMovie, Kevin, like we talked about uh, zooming in on, on right. it, and I don't think that works. But um, Anyway, the the other video that I just put for just general interest, I guess, yes. um, is a uh, a friend that uh, we met um, on our last African safari, and um, well, I'll, I'll just tell he. I was noticing that he was sitting behind me in the safari vehicle, and he was going, you know, click, 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 and I you know, kind of watched and yes, he was uh, shooting panoramas. Um, and so we got to talking about how do you distinguish the shots on your with your panorama. And I said, well, I shoot my hand first at the first shot. And then at the last shot that I'm going to uh, stitch together, I shoot my hand again. So I know the defining images. And he told me what he does is he shoots right in the middle of the area that he wants for his panorama and he shoots it diagonal. Mm -hmm. That's his first shot. He takes all of the readings from that for his manual setting for his camera. So his exposure, his shutter, every, everything, so that nothing changes across the span of the panorama. Because otherwise, you know, you get it kind of brighter at one end and darker at one end, the other end, if you don't set the exposure, for example, to be the same across it. So I, I'm just passing along what, what he does. I think maybe he shoots another diagonal at the end, so he distinguishes them. However, he also <laughs> turns bowls. And so he sent me a, a video, or he actually posted it on Facebook, and then I asked him to send it to me, of, of making a wooden bowl. And um, I, I think the one I sent to you, uh, Kevin, I actually went in and put an opening on it and a closing. Yeah. Uh, because he hadn't done that. I don't think he's seen that yet. So, but he gave me permission to show it, and he doesn't mind if it goes on to uh, YouTube. All right, well, let's take a look at that.
Your guy is pretty good with that weight. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Oh, he's uh, yeah. Yeah, that was too. that was crazy good in terms of the quality. Yeah, the amazing. I just I always love watching videos like that, where here's somebody taking a block of wood and to think that he got to that end. It's pretty you, damn cool. You, you compare that hole to some of the ones that I've seen here. Yeah, at the wood shop. <laughs> <laughs> the guy did a great job. <laughs> Really did that yeah. laser etching. Yeah, that was cool. a nice touch. Yeah, right, right. So I, uh, I had a wedding shower that I was going to. Actually, I went to Saturday, um, and I, I, I looked up on his website. Uh, he has bowls for sale, um, and I, so I called him and I said, uh, you know, I would like to get one. Well, this was on a Tuesday, and he was said, well, we're leaving Thursday for the Galapagos. And mm -hmm. we're kind of busy packing and where the bowls are that they don't sell. I'd have to get about 15 miles away. Then I said, that's okay. I'll find some, I'll find something else in about, um, 
about uh, you know a few hours later, he said, the packing's going fine. He said, I think I can go. And so we decided on which one I was going to have him send me, send me. And um, it, um, it, it, he did, and he did. And it was one he made out of uh, ambrosia maple, mm -hmm. which is the one that has the bur, bur, uh, bug holes through it so that so it has streaks. Um, and it was, yeah, very pretty. So anyway, um, I got my bowl. And he went off to uh, the Galapagos with his family. Uh, but uh, he, he makes a lot of them, yeah. He does nice work. I, I can see where uh, he probably sells a ton of stuff, so. Could be, he lives in a small town, I think uh, in New Jersey. Um, but anyway. Well, nice. Sharing that. I'll tell well, him. Does anybody have anything else they would like to add before we sign off today? Any announcements? Any other goodies? No, okay. I have a question. Does anybody know is is the computer club moving only to the Anza room? Is all their stuff going just uh, not the Anza room, the uh, Kino room? Kino room. Yeah, is that it? Everything is going just in there for yeah. them. Yes, they're, they're going from 4,200 square feet to 900 square feet. <laughs> Why? Because GBR wants their room downstairs for a glass club. And the computer club has gone from like 1,500 people down to like 700 people. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, how many in glass club? <laughs> yeah. I have no idea, but they want to make this center an art kind of center so that they want to bring the glass club here. I don't know. I don't know where they are now. So the computer thing is not artsy enough. <laughs> no, I guess not. I'm, I'm not being facetious. I'm just. <laughs> it's GBR. They're doing their thing, and nobody's got a yeah. choice of what, what you want. <laughs> yeah. hmm. all right all right <laughs> that still seems like a lot of members well i mean that's not it is all right everybody well we will be meeting again in two weeks on the 25th of july i will be gone on a road trip so i will not be here but ron will be here with his laptop and we will He'll still be able to Zoom. Grace is going to host uh, that week, so everybody can log in and, and have a party with Grace. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks, everybody. I'll get the versions figured out by Thanks, then. Grace. That would be nice. Yeah.